here, the ultimate Forty Eight Hour Author, and today I'm here in Sydney um, after yesterday's Wollongong adventure with Sandy Stallenberg, who is the author of Life Breakers, recently um, published. Now, you, um, how we met was kind of really funny because most people come into this workshop where Sandy's actually crewing today, uh, whereas what happened with us? You kind of were meant to come. I was meant to come and unfortunately there was a death in the family so the funeral was on that day. Yeah. So I was so disappointed but still desperate to want to have to write my book. And so what I did, suggested an alternative, I said well, if you can't wait till the next workshop, how about I send you the professionally filmed footage, you watch that and we have another conversation because it's so important for people to experience the four hours of information that we share in this workshop and she watched it literally in under 24 hours because you were yeah. so needing and wanting to write this book. Exactly. Um, and then we had the chat, like it was a Friday, I remember we were going to a group book launch, I think. Yes. Yes, we were. And, um, and then you, we pretty much had a conversation, you signed up. And then you came to the November retreat, which yes. is really six months from today's day. Yes. yes. And she has written a whopper of a book. I, this book is the, almost 70,000 words, almost the double the size of what we would produce. Mm -hmm. So what I want to know is where did that burning desire come from and tell us a little bit about the book. Well, my book's called The Life Breakers and I was a teacher yeah. who was bullied by my principal and my supervisor. Yeah. Basically, I lost my career, I lost my home, yeah. I lost a marriage mm -hmm. and nearly my life. So I, um, I sued my employer yeah. and I won a landmark decision. But that process took, took five years. And that's why we've got the gavel here. And, that's um, right. One teacher's fight for sanity and justice after workplace bullying is the tagline. Exactly. Because people can't see it on there. Yeah. So after I won my court case, I decided that I would just take a break. Yeah. And I had a really great time. Um, and my daughter kept saying, Mum, you've got to write your book. Yes, I'll get to it. Yes, I'll get to it. Well, I broke my ankle. Yeah. And I thought, that's the universe's sign saying, oh, that's you, when you call me. <laughs> you've got to write your book. And yeah. I just said, okay, well, if you want me to write this book, yep. give me a sign that the publisher is right there waiting for me. And the first thing I saw on Facebook that morning <laughs> was <Yeah>. you. <laughs> Do you want to be an author? And yeah. I said, hell yes. Yeah, and we connected straight away. Straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. I, I just believe in serendipity and, and yeah. the timing was right. Yeah, beautiful. And um, what, do you, what are your intentions for the book, Like, What do you want it to see do for you now that it's recently just fret, hot off the press? Yeah, well, I believe that um, everyone's got a story to tell. Yeah. Um, I'm a teacher. Mm. Regardless of whether I can't be in the classroom anymore, yeah. more, I'm still a teacher. Yeah. So I can't have gone through this experience for nothing. Yeah. How else can I teach but through um, writing books? Yeah. So this book is not just about my journey. It's also about my fight to come back to who I was. Yeah. Um, so it's a very educational book as well. It, it explains the process of bullying, who these people are, how they do it, why they chose me, and the damage what that's done do. to you physically and what you can do mm -hmm. to overcome it. Yeah, uh, for your personal reasons and also other the legal stuff and the yeah. system. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. my role now is an advocate for anti-bullying, particularly workplace bullying. Yep. Um, I'm currently in the process of setting up a foundation. Yep. And that's called the Hands Off My Life Foundation. I saw your business cards before. It was yes, very cool. and that's specifically for victims of workplace bullying. Nice. There are lots of advocacy places that um, deal with cyberbullying, uh, domestic violence, yeah. but nothing specifically for people um, to do with workplace bullying. It's a pandemic, mm. particularly in education, so I'm now an advocate also for approaching politicians. Yeah, I've um, heard getting some laws of the changed. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so I'm sort of moving in different circles that I never expected to be. Cool. I just wanted to be a wife and a mum yeah. and a teacher. and. <laughs> Life takes you in different directions. Like me, that's I wanted to be a wife and a mum and just work in my yeah. three day a week day job exactly. and nine years on. <laughs> it's exactly. this whole entrepreneurial journey. Tell me, a lot of people um, write their book either to help their business, but I think for you, 
was a healing experience because the other half of people we help is because they want to experience some sense of healing through what they've been through. Yeah. Uh, almost even end up having a bit of closure around it. Is that what was also part of the desire to exactly. get out? Exactly. Yeah. Um, I've got PTSD3, yeah. which is not legally or medically recognised. Wow. Um, so the medical profession doesn't treat it as well as yeah. it should because they don't recognise it. Wow. So I wanted to also teach people that if you get bullied, this is what happens to you. This is the permanent yeah. injury. So part of my healing, healing process is that I wanted to get this story out of me yeah. so that I could help other people because a lot of people stay stuck in why me. Yeah. My first chapter is why me. Oh, very and cool. I wanted to get to chapter 12. Yeah. I don't want to be a survivor, I want to be a thriver. Right. And at the end of the day, I'm a teacher. Yeah. And I'll always be a teacher. Yeah. And this is the only way that I can continue teaching. So tell me then, how was the process? Like, um, different people do it in different ways. I think you chose <coughs> to type out your book. Uh, oh, look, you didn't speak it out, no. which is how the system is, but that's okay because 30% will type and 70% yeah. will verbalise. Oh, I, I, I think I had to recognise that, that I'm a writer yep. and that I can only do it that way. Yep. Um, but having an education background, mm. you think you're an expert in everything. <laughs> yeah. you, you know a little bit about everything. Yeah. But it wasn't until I saw your pro forma and yeah. that you've actually got a formula and a structure, <laughs> and a structure to yeah. write the book. Once I saw that, I thought, ah, oh, okay, aha, oh. uh -huh. I'm okay. Yes. And that's a really interesting way because I thought, oh, writing a book, mm -hmm. writing a book. But a lot of people don't also realise that to go to a publishing place, any other publishing place, you've got to write your book and then, then submit it yeah and it could be a three to five year process of getting knockbacks 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 yeah i wasn't interested in any more knockbacks because when did this come out like four months after your retreat or was it much i started writing on the 26th of november yeah so the day after i came home from yeah. the retreat yeah and i it was with the editors by the 19th of june January. 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 And then we were in, in our hands probably about eight weeks later. Yeah. yeah no, that's yeah. that's very good turnaround. I mean, you know, I always say it's usually three to four months after retreat. And, and as I said, you wrote actually a double, almost a, a double, double size. Um, and, so, and, and Stuart promised to hold my hair back while I'm on my tail now. And that's okay. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> congratulations. I'm very excited of seeing now where this takes you in the next six, 12 months Thank time. You. Because it's only just the beginning, you guys. And all of these things, I mean, you said you have met certain people, connections, yeah, you're I've setting up a foundation. I've spoken at a parliamentary inquiry there you go. into um, education and, and what's going wrong with it, which yeah. is a lot. Cool. So where can people buy the book? I've got a website called sandrastarlenberg.com. So I'll pop that in the comments just below, guys, so you can grab it and also in all good uh, online reselling stores like, like they say Amazon and Booktopia I know because this has been distributed <laughs> in thousands of online uh, reselling uh, stores so um, grab your hands I mean I, I highly recommend it